everyone welcome back to my youtube channel iraqi dinar news today where we share the news about iraqi dinar vietnam dong and other country currencies so if you new on my youtube channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more latest news about iraqi dinar vietnam dongs and all other currencies so let's dive into the video updates from intel group iraq's economic and financial developments Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel. Today, we bring you the latest updates on the Iraqi dinar and significant economic changes in Iraq. Let's dive right in. Phase 3, Introduction of Lord in Nominations A common question arises, what is Phase 3? This phase involves the introduction of new lowered in nominations of the Iraqi dinar to the citizens. The process of distributing these lower notes to the banks was completed months ago. Ending currency auctions by 2024 According to multiple sources, Iraq plans to end currency auctions by the end of 2024. Iraqi banks will need to establish banking relationships with global and regional sectors, a move that hinges on Iraq accepting IMF Article 8. Guru MN on Currency Exchange Intel Guru MN shared insights on Iraq's currency plans. When ready, Iraq will remove three zeros from the currency, giving citizens a limited period to exchange O30K notes for new lowered denominations. This exchange will likely be electronic and at a one-to-one -one rate, meaning a 25K note will be exchanged for a new 25 note. The dinar may revalue in country to just over a dollar. But this does not change the underlying value it simply makes the currency more manageable. Frank 26's Ground Report Frank 26's Boots on the Ground Reporter, Firefly, noted that there has been no update from Parliament regarding the budget being signed or published in the Gazette. The budget's implementation is on hold pending court appeals. Legislative Changes and Investment Law Mohammed al -Jati, a member of the Investment and Development Committee, confirmed that the next legislative term will witness amendments to the investment law. Al-Jadi emphasized the government's failure to provide financial liquidity to citizens for purchasing housing units and criticized the lack of announced prices for new cities. He urged the government and the central bank to pressure private banks to get involved in building infrastructure. Despite large residential projects being launched, they have become more frustrating than beneficial for ordinary citizens due to high real estate prices. Real Estate Market Challenges Baghdad's real estate market is facing significant challenges, with prices skyrocketing due to a lack of follow-up and a growing population. Most citizens cannot afford these high prices, leading to a housing crisis. Conclusion these updates highlight significant economic and financial changes in Iraq. We will continue to monitor these developments closely and provide you with the latest news. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on important financial news from around the world.